beautiful beaters, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and today I'll be showing you how to make this beaded rope necklace. I wanted to come up with something simple with the pinch beads and something that really shows them off, shows off their shape, and hopefully gives you guys another idea of some things to do with these check glass beads, especially if you have some already sitting in your stash waiting to be used. And what's great is you will also only need bead-wise some 11 OC beads, which as we all know is a very common size. And then for findings, you'll need some jump rings, a clasp of your choice, and I like to use two wire guards to finish off my pieces. If you don't have them, you can do a loop of seed beads and attach your jump rings to that. Besides those materials, of course, you will need a beading needle. I'll be using a size 10, and you'll need approximately 12 feet of beading thread. My go-to is the 0.006 inch or six pound fire line. I will be including a full materials list as well as links to everything down below. You can find all the beautiful beads I'm using in this tutorial as well as the findings at eurekacrystalbeads.com, one of my favorite places to shop. It was hard to narrow down what colors I wanted to go with in the tutorial, but I settled on these two, and again, that'll be down below. In addition to all these other things, of course, it'll be handy to have some jewelry pliers and a pair of scissors. So go ahead and string your beading needle. Let's get ourselves situated, and then we'll get started. By the way, for this pattern, you'll need approximately three strands of 50 pinch beads, which means you'll have some left over. And with those leftover pinch beads, you can make yourself a really cute pair of earrings to go along with this pattern. I whipped this design up as well in hopes of using those additionals. And I do plan on sharing these in the future, so stay tuned for that. And once that's posted, I will try to include the link down below. All right, so we're gonna start by doing a base of ladder stitch. So we're gonna pick up two of our 11 OC beads. And I want you to pull them down your thread so that you're leaving a 12 inch tail approximately, just so you have plenty to work with when you are completing the other side and adding your wire guard to the end. I'm working with a much shorter piece of thread at the moment just so I don't have to pull my thread so much since 12 feet is quite a bit. So I am going back through bead number one to get our ladder stitch started, which sets these two beads next to each other. And now I'm going down through bead number two. Then I'm going back up through bead number one. We're gonna reinforce these six beads really good before we turn them into a little ring. So back down bead number two. Now let's pick up bead number three, swing our needle around and go through bead number two. Set that into place. Go up through bead number three and then go back down bead number two to reinforce this. And then back up bead number three, pick up bead four, swing around and go up three, back down the bead you just added, and then go up and back down beads three and four to reinforce again, just like that. And then we're gonna do bead number five, swing through bead number four from the opposite direction, up the bead we just added, and then down through bead number four, up through bead number five, and you get the idea. We're gonna do one more bead, so this is gonna be a row of six, and up through bead number five, and then down and up and back down bead number six. All right, so we have our little row here of six seed beads and what we wanna do is we wanna turn this into a ring of beads. So I'm coming down out of this last seed bead right here and to join these together, I will need to go up through the first bead. So we're going up through that bead, pull that and it's starting to turn this into a little circle and then to join these two together, we want to go down through this next bead on the right. And then we're going to go back up through the bead on the left. And now our little ring of seed beads is joined. Now at this time, we're ready to start working with our pinch beads. So what we're going to do is pick up one pinch bead, two 11 O's, and one pinch bead. And then we're gonna go down through the seed bead directly to the right of the bead that we're coming out of, pull, 
and your beads should sit like this. So you have a pinch bead sitting up straight on each one of these seed beads with two in between. And then you wanna go up through the next seed bead that you get to on the right. Now pick up another pinch bead, two more seed beads, and another pinch bead, and go down through that next seed bead that you get to. Again, this is just placing one pinch bead on top of each of the seed beads at the base. And now we need to go up through the next seed bead and do the exact same thing. So pick up a pinch bead to 11 nose and another pinch bead and then back down through the next seed bead right next to the one that we're coming out of. Pull and get those situated so that there is a pinch bead on top of each of those seed beads at the base. And then we need to join these beads together, especially at the top. So I'm coming out of this seed bead right here. Let's go up through the seed bead directly to the left, also up through the pinch bead that's on top of that, and then go through the first 11-0 seed bead that you get to. So go through all three of those. And this is really the most challenging part, I think, is just getting started. Once you have the base done and you get used to the stitch, it's actually really easy. All right, so we're coming out of that seed bead there at the top of the pinch bead. Now go down through the seed bead, the pinch bead and the seed bead directly to the left of those. And that's gonna pull those together and do the same thing, just working toward the left. Now, once again, we need to go up through the seed bead on the base the pinch bead, and that first seed bead that you get to at the top, pull, and then go down those same three beads directly to the left, seed bead, pinch bead, and the pinch bead below that to join those together. That's what it's starting to look like at the top, and we just have one more cluster to join together. So same thing, go up the 11-0, the pinch bead, and the 11-0 there at the top, pull, and then go down the same three beads directly to the left of that. And there you go. So actually what you end up with is this cute little beaded bead. It's hollow in the center, but we're gonna add on to this. We're gonna make this into one big tube that we're still gonna be able to curve a little bit to turn into a necklace. So I'm gonna go up through the next three beads on the left, the seed bead, the pinch bead, and the seed bead. Go up through those and give this one more pull. And we are gonna do the exact same thing from here on out until we have completed a total of 17 rows of pinch beads. So let's do one more row together. Okay, so just like we did before, we wanna pick up a pinch bead, two seed beads and a pinch bead. And we can head to the right again. You wanna go down through the seed bead and the pinch bead directly to the right and pull. Then go up through the pinch bead and the seed bead to the right and pull. Let's add our next sequence of beads, pinch bead to 11 O's and a pinch bead. And back down the seed bead and the pinch bead directly to the right of that. Just get your beads to sit the way they need to and then up through the pinch bead and the seed bead. Picking up our last grouping of two for this row, pinch bead, two seed beads, pinch bead. Turning and then down through the other seed bead and pinch bead. Pull that, and then we're going to head left again. So go up through the pinch bead, the seed bead, the pinch bead and then the seed bead that's on top of that. Go through all four of those beads on the left and pull. And now go through the seed bead, the pinch bead and the seed bead directly to the left to join these together. So once you've pulled that, now you can move to the left again and up through the next seed bead, pinch bead, seed bead. And I think you guys get the idea down through the next seed bead, pinch bead, seed bead to join those groups together. 
up again through all of those beads on the left. And now we can join our last cluster together. So we'll just go down through these three to the left again. And we'll get ready for our next row by going up through the three on the left. And pull that and give this a nice pull. And this is what we have so far. So again, keep doing this until you have 17 rows of pinch beads. Then we will work on the ends of our piece and put it all together with our findings. All right, guys, and welcome back. You should have a tube that looks sort of like this. And as you can see, not only will it lay straight, but you can also bend it. And it just takes a little bit of training, but it will sit with this slight curve, which makes it work great for a necklace. As you can see, I have finished off one side already. We're gonna do the other side together. It'll be exactly the same process on both sides. So once you finish your main side, you will go ahead and pop on a needle on your tail thread and go from there. So as you can see, I'm coming out of one of my 110 seed beads. And at this point, if you have them, go ahead and get your wire guards out. You're gonna be picking up two 110s, then picking up your wire guard, going through one side of that, pulling that down to your beading, and then going through the other side of the wire guard, tucking that thread into place into the groove of that. Pick up two more 11 O's, and then go through the opposite 11 O. So on mine, it would be this one. and just go ahead and pull this down to your tube and you should have something like that. So you have two free seed beads on either side. Coming down out of this 11 I'm just gonna scoot over to the right and I'm gonna go up the 11 that was directly to the right of that, picking up one more seed bead and then I'm gonna go up through the seed bead that is below the wire guard as well as the wire guard Make sure my thread stays in place. Then I'm gonna go through the other side of the wire guard, down through the 11 right at the base of that side. I'm gonna pick up another 11 and I'm gonna go down through this 11 seed bead on the right-hand side of that. And then I look over here and we still have a free seed bead, so I'm gonna go up through that one. And we just want each of these six seed beads on that base ring to have a connection with one side of the wire guard or the other. Picking up another 11 going through the 11 right at the base of the wire guard. And again, just turning that, going through the other side, as well as through the 11 below that. And then we have just one more that we need to connect. So I'm gonna pick up another 11 o And this time I'm gonna go down through that seed bead as well as the pinch bead. When we pull that, we can see that all of those seed beads in that original ring now have a connection to the wire guard. It's nice and tight to the beading. And we can just go ahead and knot off our thread. So I'm gonna make my first knot right there at the base of that pinch bead. Then I'm gonna go up through this one and probably make another knot right here. I'll be good with about three knots as usual, but you guys can do as many as you want and feel free to weave through the piece again if you'd like to. Just don't make it too tight, any tighter than it already is because you do want it to be able to be trained to have that little bit of a curved shape. So that was three knots for me and I've hidden my thread a little bit. I'm gonna clip this off and remove my 11 O's and take out my jump rings and my clasp and those couple pieces of chain. And this part is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just taking a jump ring and going to put it through one end of my chain here. I have cut both of these pieces to approximately six inches and the beading here will come to almost six inches once we have the jump rings added, which will make the necklace close to about 18 inches. So feel free to adjust the length of your chain depending on how long you want to have your finished piece and you can always add an extender at the end too. So taking my jump ring and just popping on that side and repeating with the other side, if you need to use two sets of pliers on your jump rings, go right ahead 
And then I'm going to add my clasp back here. Here we go. And one final jump ring. I'll probably add an extender in later, like I usually do. But for now, at least you'll be able to see it all finished. And there we go, guys. That is the finished necklace. I hope yours turned out great, too. I am really excited about this design. I just love the simplicity of it, and it just feels so wearable. Like I mentioned before, if you're like me and you got three strands of 50 pinch beads, you still have enough left over to make a decorative pair of earrings to match. And like I said, I will be following up with this tutorial in the near future, so stay tuned. Please feel free to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this necklace design, how yours came out, anything else you'd like to say. As a reminder, I will leave the full list of materials and links to these materials down below. Eureka Crystal Beads has such an awesome selection of beads and jewelry making supplies, and it may be difficult for you to narrow down what color choice you want to go with for your necklace once you see all the beautiful things they have to offer. I wanna thank you guys so much for being with me for this tutorial, and I hope you'll stick around for much more to come. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day and as always, happy beading. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can check out the information section below this video for links to all my social media handles, recommended products, and my shop and blog at orchidandopal.com. Thanks for watching!